One day after the attacks on the U.S. Embassy in Libya, President Obama is calling for justice to be done to those responsible for the attack. Al Jazeera and the BBC have the latest. Well, right now, two U.S. warships are off the Libyan coast. President Barack Obama ordered the move after the American ambassador to the country, along with three other Americans, were killed in that attack. America is sending more warships and troops to Libya to protect its buildings, as well as FBI agents to investigate the killing of its ambassador and three other diplomats on Tuesday. The president's decision comes after several news outlets reported al-Qaeda planned the attack for the 9-11 anniversary and used protests over an anti-Islam movie as a distraction. Unmanned drones have also been deployed to provide intelligence about jihadists the U.S. believes are responsible. The U.S. will reportedly work with the Libyan government to track down the suspects. A CNN correspondent predicts the U.S. is making the right move by beefing up its forces. He says the attack was simply too well executed to be a spur-of-the-moment civilian shootout. I think that it was actually a premeditated attack. You had some individuals showing up with RPGs and other weapons and starting an assault. Um, and it's likely that they wouldn't have just spontaneously done this. A writer for the New York Times notes while Mr. Obama is focusing on Libya, his bigger problem might be just to the east. Egypt, where the American embassy in Cairo was attacked hours before the assault in Benghazi. Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi issued only a mild rebuke of the rioters, while his movement, the Muslim Brotherhood, has called for a second day of protests against the lurid anti-Muslim video that set off the riots. Morsi waited 24 hours before issuing his statement against the militants who stormed the embassy. Mr. Obama has called for the security of American embassies worldwide to be stepped up, but the consulate in Yemen's capital has already seen attacks Thursday. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle. Multiple sources, the real story.